Ben describes how the landscape of Vermont may look very different in our sustainable future. Look around the world, anywhere where people have inhabited a hilly landscape for more than a few hundred years, for millennia in places, they've terraced and made the landscape into paddies and terraces and swales. The farming system here we're focused on is necessarily rooted in a diversity of planting systems and also a high diversity of ways in which those plants and animals are farmed. If any of our nutrients are washing off our site into the Mad River and then into Lake Champlain, that's just a total waste for us. Those nutrients are really valuable. We need them to grow our plants, to produce good pasture uh, forages, uh, to build soil. All of this is scalable across the landscape. So rice, for instance, may be a great example of capturing nutrients that are flowing off of a moderate to large sized dairy farm. Rice is simply an edible stormwater detention basin. Our system's incredibly simplified right now because energy is so cheap and we don't value ecosystem services. Uh, the, the farmer of the future is, is capitalizing on this incredible diversity and ways of harnessing the nutrients and cycling the nutrients available in a site, which takes diversity. It's not monoculture farming. It's not just growing corn and hay to turn into milk. It's only small scale, sophisticated farmers and homesteaders that are seeing these systems and are the early adopters of them. Vermont has long been known for innovative design solutions, but the scale of this problem is enormous. Our current model has exceeded the ecological limits. Lake Champlain is running out of time.